I'm Dwayne Ross of Servants United Parish. I will be leading daily devotions with you. The basis for these daily devotions is from Christ in Her Home, a daily devotional series. The Bible readings are from the Revised Standard Version. The reading for Friday, May 21st, is from 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter, verses 50 through 57. I tell you this, brethren, flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, nor does the perishable inherit the imperishable. Lo, I tell you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound, and the dead will be raised imperishable, and we shall be changed. For this perishable nature must put on the imperishable, and this mortal nature must, be, must put on immortality. When the perishable puts on the imperishable, and the mortal puts on the immortality, then shall come to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy victory? O death, where is thy sting? The sting of death is sin and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. Gift of salvation. But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Has someone ever asked you, am I saved? I was asked that a number of times when I served a community of men who were homeless were addicted to drugs, and had criminal records. I understood their anxiety because others were telling them that they were going straight to hell. When they asked me, I would answer, salvation is God's business, not mine. What I can tell you is that God loves you like crazy, right now and always. The Roman followers of Jesus wondered what would happen to them when they died. They had argued about whether or not they would be saved. The Apostle Paul gave them beautiful assurance. The men I served weren't always satisfied with mine. How hard is it to realize that God's grace saves us and everyone else? None of us save ourselves. As hard as it is to believe sometimes, we are invited to trust in the victory God gives us through Jesus Christ and to share the insurance of that gift with others. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, help us to live for others and not for ourselves. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen.